to refresh coding. In this video, we will talk about Docker desktop installation. So what you need to do, you just need to go to docker.com and here in the product session, you will give you will get this Docker desktop. So we are going to download it for Windows. We are going to download and install it for Windows. So here, if you can see, you will get this download Docker desktop for Windows. You can download it for Apple also, Linux also and Intel chip also. But right now we will download it for Windows. So the moment you will click here, it will download a file in your system. It's a little big file. Uh, which is a uh, docker desktop installer if you can see and this file is of 499 mb if you can see and it depends on what it depends on what time and date you are download downloading this file the size may vary so you make sure you have enough space in your c drive where you will install this docker desktop because it is a big file and it will take a lot of space in your system so and it will take time also to install docker in your system so you will have to wait for at least 30 minutes for a docker installation to complete so when you will click on this it will uh, launch a docker desktop installer in your system so once docker properly installed in your system you will see a screen like this it is a docker desktop and you will have to make sure here you are getting green and engine running and in some cases you might get some installation issues if your uh, virtual technology is not enabled so in that scenario what you will have to do just go to the bios settings of your windows uh, here and go to the configuration and here intel virtual technology and just enable it so after enabling it you will be able to easily install docker it is not necessary that you will get is this error all the time but sometime you might get this error if this virtual technology is not enabled in your system so for mac and linux uh, the docker installation is very very uh, simple but for windows it might give you some issues if your virtual technology is not proper and make sure you are working with windows 10 pro or max so this is how it will look after installation again uh, we will verify that docker is properly working in our system so just open the command prompt in uh, your normal windows command prompt here just type docker enter and you can see now you're getting all the docker commands here that means docker is properly installed and you know up and running in your system and we can work with docker now we can create images and all those things so now all these things we will be discussing in upcoming video we will be building image we will be pushing the image to docker hub and all those things in this video uh, that's it if you like the video please like it and please subscribe to the channel thank you